Hello everyone, this is Matt McClung from Texas A&M University Corpus Christi, and today I'm talking about the Mitchell Peters Etude Number 4, uh, the snare drum etude. There's a bunch of things you should pay attention to when you're learning this piece in no particular order. The roles are sometimes tied and sometimes not tied, and when you're playing it you need to make a difference between those two things. So if the roll is tied to a note, it should connect to that note and end with a little button, a little extra hit. If a roll is not tied to an ending note, then you should just lift up your hands. The end of that roll should just be like a breath. It should just stop. No button on the end. There are lots of flams and roughs, three-stroke roughs and a couple of four-stroke roughs in this piece. You need to make sure that you're making a difference between those things. So your flam should be nice and crisp a little looser, a little wider than marching flams, right? Marching flams are really close together, almost the sticks are almost hitting the drum at the same time. These are different, they should be a little bit more spread out. Your flams and your roughs should definitely sound different. We should be able to hear the difference between those two things. One of the trickiest rhythms I find that my students have difficulties with uh, is the quarter note triplet. And that happens in a couple of different places in this piece. And the very best way to play a quarter note triplet evenly and correctly is to subdivide. Think eighth note triplets in your head and play every other one. If you're thinking three and a, four and a, it's easy to play and that's a quarter note triplet. If you don't subdivide, it will almost always be wrong. So be careful and subdivide. Just think eighth note triplets whenever you see a quarter note triplet and play every other eighth note and it should work out just fine. Dynamics are really important in this etude. Of course, they're important in every piece you play, but some people tend to leave that out of snare drum etudes and just play fast and loud. The dynamics here are really important. In addition to the markings of forte and mezzo piano, etc., there are also uh, accents, and those really need to be observed. It really brings a lot of character to the piece if you play all the dynamics just right. Make sure you have a handkerchief to mute the drum. It's very important. I know some of you are thinking, I'll just use my wallet. I'll just use whatever happens to be in my pocket right now. Buy a handkerchief. They're like 99 cents at every gas station you've ever been in. Uh, the one I used on my recording of this piece is in the uh, appearance of a Texas flag. Uh, you can get you know, funny and cute with your handkerchiefs, or you can just buy a plain white handkerchief, but get a handkerchief. Don't look like one of those people who just slap a wallet on the drum, because we don't like those people. For my recording of this piece, I used the Ted Atcat sticks. I like these a lot. They're a good general stick. Uh, they're not real expensive, and they sound great for concert snare. I highly recommend these. Um, if you're looking for something cheaper, the SD ones work just fine, the general Vic Firths. Uh, but these aren't much more, and it's a much better stick, so I recommend these. Thanks for watching, and good luck practicing.